welcome and welcome back to the channel. Got this Pro Master back in, y'all. The baby Pro Master, okay? Uh, complain about no AC. No AC. Y'all know it's kind of warm now here in the ATL. Now, first thing you're dealing with when you come to AC is uh, you need to verify the complaint, okay? I have the AC on. I have the research on. And I have the AC button push. Research should get you max cooling. But there's basically no cooling going on. Now, also the tire light on. So, now I want y'all to look at something real, real quick here. I want y'all to pay attention. Follow me here. The telematic module, okay? The entertainment system, ETM. This is not OEM. This is fact uh, aftermarket, okay? They use this to monitor uh, the rear camera and maybe the front camera. This is a, a company truck, okay? Now, what happens when you do this, guys? Uh, you basically, so basically you took out the factory OEM entertainment module and you put one in its place. What that does is confuse the bus, okay? Because this is actually a module. This entertainment module reports to the BCM and it's on the bus so you can actually do diagnostic through this module but because it is now not on the bus because it is aftermarket uh you got uh, some tough choices to make <laughs> uh do you stay with it or do you go back to factory so all your other stuff will work as normal uh that's the decision you have to make guys uh consumer customers whoever purchased the car and went and got this stuff installed now for the installers, I'm not sure if they're able to check and scan this thing after they install it to make sure everything right. Because she didn't start having any of these problems. Well, we wouldn't know about the AC. It's been kind of cold, so she haven't been burning the AC. But still, you don't know if your AC was working. It could be two months from now, you finally turn your AC on. Like I say, it's warm now, and it's not cold. Then you find out, you take it to a dealer, which she's at, and you find out, your bus can be bus is not working the way it's designed and it's not working the way it's designed because this entertainment module could be corrupting the bus network all right guys now there's no check engine light it actually can be uh in some cases it may not if anything wrong can be it may not affect it may not turn on the check engine light so what i'm gonna have to do is go to my scan tool go to my laptop over here and we're gonna look at some of the things uh, we're gonna look at some diagnostics and see what was reported by the module because it's all about modules on these guy on these cars guys uh the days of the do-it-yourselfers are pretty much going away due to the fact that most of the newer cars now are pretty computer sophisticated pretty computer dependent very dependent on computers and modules to work i mean for the most part the gasoline combustion engine still the same but it has some computerized enhancements on it so <laughs> uh guys uh, there's no way around it we're moving into the future and you either have to jump on board or get left behind me myself i choose to jump on board and follow technology to wherever it may lead you i do not want to get left behind so i'm forced to follow all right guys uh I'm going to go to an ad break. When I get back, we're going to be at the computer, at the laptop, and we're going to go over some things, talk about some more things, and I'm going to let y'all know what's going on. Stay tuned. Be patient with these ads. Don't go anywhere. I will be right back. All right, guys. Welcome back. Welcome back. Now, I have this ProMaster pulled up. Now, here's a, let's take a look at some of the fault codes. As you can see, there's codes in just about uh, ooh, a lot of modules. One of the main codes from the hub, which is the BCM, is a uh, check configuration fail. Incorrect component install. I see that incorrect component install. Now, as we just verified earlier, there's an aftermarket uh, radio on this car. Now, the radio is considered a module, okay? It is on the bus, it is monitored by the computer. So, the BCM is really the only one. Uh, B can be general electrical failure. Now let's go back. Let me show y'all something. Okay, uh, topology. Now notice 
this is offline okay uh if that's offline it could easily be that's the entertainment telematic module if it's offline it could easily be shorting out the bus notice everything is on this side can be all of this is working just fine the can be is down all the modules on can be there are fault codes okay everything is supposed to go to the bcm and report the information there but that is not the case okay so right now uh the ac won't uh turn on it's getting warm outside she want her car to be cold i understand that but if the hvac module is not doing what it's supposed to do your ac will never get cold okay ladies and gentlemen so one or two things guys when you face with situation like this uh this module it has to be oem now that's a way you can uh let me see if i'm saying this right program this well even that because let me show y'all something under guided diagnostic where is it at okay proxy configuration alignment all right now of course the ABS do not use proxy and the HVAC do not use proxy so there's not an issue with uh, the HVAC does not use a lot of these do not use proxy okay the, the telemarketing market uh, this module here is not active okay so you really that's suppose if this was a original uh, entertainment system it would show configured all right, and that's the only way you're gonna get can be to act right or to act the way it's supposed to. Okay, so with these aftermarket, when these aftermarket companies install this stuff, uh, the rear camera, all that stuff, all that's fine and dandy, but it needs to be independent from the original system, or you have to find a way to get it programmed to where to work properly. All right, so her car in for no AC. Not sure as much, uh, much I can do. I want to go back to. Uh, yeah, it can be all oh, there's a code in every module. This could very well be knocking out the bus. Everything only on this side. Can't see all this stuff here is blue, there's no fall code, but everything over here. She's having a problem with a cluster. That's one another thing she's complaining about. Let me see what what codes that that module set off. Yes. Can be bus off. Tire pressure monitor, BCM codes. Yes, guys, uh so Oh man, I have to find a way to explain this to her without breaking her heart because she spent a ton of money on this entertainment telematic module. Basically a radio that has a uh, camera equipment. That's what uh, Chrysler called it this. Uh, that's the big technical name for it. But it's knocking out the bus. It's confusing the bus and it will have... You're not going to get any AC. You might have an airbag light on. Your tire pressure light might be on. And your cluster may be acting funny. All of that's reporting from the BCM. All right, let me figure out a way to go and report this to her. I tell you what, guys, hold tight. I'm gonna uh, take a quick ad break. I will be right back. Hey guys, I'm back. Thanks for staying tuned. Thanks for staying with me. Like I say, guys, this is the baby Pro Master. <laughs> Okay, not much power in this little thing. Now, some of our other Pro Master have the 36 Pentastar engine, but this is the baby Pro Master. They use these for little work horses, like tall truck. Uh, most guys buy them for, most fleet companies get them for work related issues. All right, what well, we're concerned with, like I just discussed in the earlier part of this video, you look straight down there, you can see the compressor is actually running, and it is full of Freon. But because this thing is dependent on some form of a sensor or computer, uh, not getting a signal to allow cooling. Okay, so we have a can B bus system problem going on. Now what I have to do guys, I'm gonna have to, what I'm gonna do is have the customer at least bring me the old module back. Bring me the old entertainment module back. Cause I simply wanna plug it in and see if my, my bus come back up to normal. If that happens, then that's a for sure way to tell that that's your problem. All right, I don't want to spend a lot of time tracking down bus issues when I can visually see the entertainment module is off the bus and corrupting the bus network. Okay, guys, so you got to work smart, man. Don't spend a lot of time on something that you can visually see is a problem. That's what I am not going to do, okay? So 
I don't, I'm going to shut this video down. Um, not going to let it, uh, I'm not going to prolong this video because I want you to see what's going on. And uh, when they bring that module in, I open it back up on a different video. Just call it part two and we'll discuss what's going on. Okay, guys. So I guess, not sure you learned anything from this video, but I guess one thing you can pick up is uh, one thing that you should know. Uh, most of the newer cars are solely dependent on the factory modules that was in, initially installed. Okay, if you're gonna add aftermarket stuff, you need to find a way to get it programmed into the computer where the computer will recognize it and make the necessary adjustments. Okay, uh, I guess that's one thing you can pick up from this video. Alright, I hate to run a 10 minute long video and you not pick up anything. My goal is for you to pick up at least something out of every video that I produce. Alright, my subscribers. Uh, by the way, if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. Uh, I'm sure out of all these videos, you're going to pick up something out of one of them. But guys, I'm going to shut this video down until I get the original entertainment module. And uh, we're going to plug it up and go from there. I'll open it back up then. So guys, thanks for watching. Comment and subscribe. And I'll see y'all on the next video.